Mary, what do you think you're doing? You just want Johnny for yourself. You think you can take him away from me? What are you talking about? I don't want you seeing him anymore. He's my boyfriend. Why are you saying that? I'm crazy. Didn't they tell you that? Mary, did you kill your mother? Did you push her off the cliff? You saw in the dream. Oh, my God. He loves me, not you. You're dead. I want you out of my house. I need to prepare you before you go in, Laura. We had to restrain Annalise. She was so agitated. Oh, God. I wondered if we could talk to Annalise alone for a while. Of course. I'll be just outside the door. Thank you. Annalise, how are you feeling? How did I get here? Your mom brought you in. You had a pretty scary night last night. Mary came after me, eh? Hey, girl. Oh my God. At least what happened last night? She got inside my head. She, she wanted to scare me, eh? Is Mary still talking to you? I'm the only one who can see her. Or hear her. I, she wants me to help her, eh? No, you don't believe me. Well, I believe that you believe these things. You think I'm crazy? No. My job at the moment is to listen, not to judge. You're right. How does Mary want you to help her? By finding out the truth. Annalise, let us help you. Mom, I know you don't believe me. I... I'm just scared, that's all. Um... We have to unstrap her. Clay, please, we are trying to help her. You look at her, she's calm now. Annalise, we want you to take this medication. It'll help you clear your head. No. No, please. I think no, stuff makes me crazy. You know, it takes time to regain your balance. You have to trust me. Come on. There we go. Can I leave now? I just... I don't want to stay here. Please, Mom, I just want to go home. They say you have to stay tonight, but I'll be right outside all night, and then I'll take you home tomorrow. that she may really hurt herself. I cannot let her be locked up like that. 
Mary was my patient. I wasn't able to help her, not enough to keep her stable. I won't let that happen again. So what are we talking about here? Worst case scenario? I think Annalise could be suffering a complete mental breakdown, as I believe Mary did. Storing it seems to make her happy. Come on, we've got houses to shop. We've got to earn a living. The office is just a few minutes away. She seems so fragile. I just don't think I should leave her at all. Laura, she hasn't had any more episodes. She'll be fine. Annalise, I've got to go to work for a while, but I'm wearing my beeper, so you can call me if you need me. I'll be fine. Bye. Bye. And Jack fell down and broke her crown, and Jill it's came from time for your ah. bath, Heather. I want Daddy to do it. I know. Uh, you go ahead, doofus. I'll come up in a minute. Hi. I saw the editor of the paper, and he wants to know if the rumors are true about a ghost at the Cliff House. He wants to write a story. Well, I'll, I'll talk to him tomorrow. I'll tell him to mind his own business. The entire town is gossiping about her being possessed by your daughter, Mary. I never should have let Cynthia talk me into taking in renters. I don't want anybody in that house. Why don't you just sell the house and be done with it? I can't. What are you so afraid of? What if Mary is really in that house? Mary ran away. That's what you said. What if Mary didn't run away? What if she's dead? I, I know it's crazy. I mean, Annalise said that Mary was waiting for me. You certainly don't believe that there is a ghost in that house. This girl, Annalise, is seriously disturbed. You've got to stop this. Look, you have... You've got to protect our family. Heather is your daughter, too. I'm time to leave. Before things get out of hand. Again, how do I find a killer? Ask Johnny. He won't believe me. Thinks you killed your mother. Do you believe me? Don't worry. You can make him believe. Johnny's got to have a life. He needs someone to hold on to. A warm touch. At least I know he will have you. How do you know I want him? Because I know you. I've seen the way you watch him. The way you look at him in those jeans of his. I don't know if it's me so much that wants him. 
Or you. I looked for you at the station. Closed. Where's your engine? Finished. Maybe you'll give me a ride sometime? Probably goes a little too fast for you. Well, you never know until you try it. <sighs> what is your problem? I didn't expect this to happen. Yeah, well, me neither, but it happened. I stood by and watched Mary go crazy in that house. I can't go through that again. Is that why you won't let me into your life? I'm dealing with the facts of life now, Annalise. I got the facts down now. I got them down real good. Oh, yeah? Well, what would happen if I kissed you right now? I'd be kissing you this time, Annalise. Yeah, just me. You're afraid, aren't you? About what they'll say if you're with me? I care about you. It's one of the facts I'm dealing with. I'm glad I... I needed to hear that. We both got lost for a little while. But if we can help Mary, maybe we can find our way back. I'll help you. What about after? After. Annalise Villem. I'm a patient here. We met the other day. Oh, yes, I remember. How are you feeling? Much better. Good. You look better. I have a question about my medication. The prescription. I was wondering if you can tell me exactly what it is. Have you taken any of these? Yeah. They seem to make everything pretty weird. Uh, would you excuse me a moment, please? Doctor. These can have a devastating effect on someone with that diagnosis. Well, what do I do? Cover your ass. Uh, who gave you these? Uh, Daniel Roth gave them to me. Oh, um, I'll ask her about it. I'll, I'll That's get... okay. You know, uh, it's probably my mistake. I may have mixed up the pills in the medicine cabinet. I think I'd better hold on to these. I want my pills. Give me my... Security! You know, if that nurse calls Danielle, she's gonna find out we know about the medicine. You can't lose it like that. They're just waiting for you to screw up. You know, if I was still taking those jagged little pills, I'd be a zombie by now. I think she did the same thing to Mary. You gotta tell me what you know, Johnny. We're trying to find a killer. You never think it was kind of odd that Clay married his daughter Shrink? A man's wife dies. He marries a family therapist who comforts him. Probably happens all the time. Hey, what if he was getting comforting before he found his wife dead? You know that for a fact? I followed him home one night. He wasn't getting any therapy, I'll tell you that much. If someone killed Mary, where's her body? They could have put her anywhere. They could have dumped her in the ocean. No, she said she was trapped here, and that's the word she used. Her body has to be here. You know, he didn't want me digging in the garden out by the cliff.
this rose where her heart would have been. Like he loved her. Let's get the cops. Let's yank Mr. Clay off out of his mansion. Maybe we can make Clay admit what he did. Make him face his daughter. Fine shot, Mr. Roth. What are you doing here? It's been a while since I was here. You invited me here five years ago, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. So was Annalise falling for that small town, tough guy routine, huh? Not enough for you to latch on to Mary. But you go and get yourself another unstable girl to play with, right? I saw you and Danielle together before your wife died. I told Mary the truth, but she didn't believe me. You get out of here. She trusted you. You get out of here, I'll have you thrown in jail. She found out the truth. That's why she went crazy. Get out of here. We found something of yours in the garden. What did you say? What did you do, Mr. Clay Roth? She was abusive and violent, and it was completely unprovoked. I was just trying to help her with her medication. I understand. I think she's psychotic. The only thing that keeps me from pressing charges is your promise that she will receive help. I didn't want anyone digging here. Johnny said you had something to show me. Yeah, it's in the house. Did he bring you here? He said he'd meet us. He's right behind. Where's your mother? She went to town. Let's take a look. Why didn't you ever come back to the house? Things I didn't want to remember. Day when you played the piano, the melody you played. How did you know that? I used to play it all the time. It was my favorite song. Daddy, I played it for you. Why do you call me Daddy? You know. Daddy, listen to me. Someone murdered Mama. What? I heard her screaming. I saw someone hitting her, and she tried to cover her head, but they, they pushed her to the ground, and they kicked her over the edge. Annalise, where did you get that necklace? You gave it to me on my birthday. You dug it up. You disturbed her peace. Daddy, why won't you believe in me? It's hard for me to believe in something I can't see with my own eyes.
You can't be my daughter. No, she's dead. Help me. Help me! Help me! There's no one out there, Daddy. Help! Now you know who I felt. Trapped in here all those years. I can never leave this house. What is it? What is it you want from me? I want you to tell the truth about Mama. It was a tragedy, that's all. Tell the truth, Daddy. Were you there that night she died? Daddy, don't lie anymore. Daniel was pregnant with my child. She wanted me to leave your mother. But I couldn't. I went to my office to meet her, to tell her. But that's when they called me to tell me your mother fallen off the cliff. Is that the truth? I loved you, Mom. Mary. Oh, God, I missed you. I know, Daddy. Annalise, I have decided that the best thing is for you to be at the hospital for a while. I won't go. I have to find who killed my mother. Annalise, I am your mother. Annalise! Annalise! Get out of my home. You've caused enough trouble already. You have to believe in her. She's just trying to save Mary. I can't see her either, but I know she's here. I cannot believe in ghosts. I didn't run away. I drowned in the bathtub. Please don't do this. No, wait. Let her speak. I sank down into the red water, and then everything was quiet. I was traveling through this tunnel of light. You said she ran away. I found her floating in the tub. There were pills everywhere. She'd fallen and hit her head. And then you came and pulled me out. You laid me on the floor and somehow you got me breathing again. Annalise, who told you all of this? You said, please don't go. I can't lose you, too. And your words brought me right back to my body. Daddy, it hurt to be brought back. Clay, is this true? <sighs> she started breathing again just for a, a moment. And then she said, Mama, in a calm voice, and your heart stopped just like you decided it I never told anybody that oh my god you dressed me in my blue dress my favorite one and you carried me out but I couldn't go with my body daddy I was trapped here I believe in you. I'm so sorry. Mary? You buried her like she was a dead dog! 
thought I had to do something to protect her name so they wouldn't know she'd pushed her mother off a cliff. She would never hurt anyone. I think you killed her. No. I loved her more than my own life. Mary? Annalise. You wrecked everything. I was carrying his baby. But she was his wife. Why? I'm the only one that deserved to be his wife. You killed Mary's mother. I didn't really kill her. I replaced her. And then I had to get rid of little Mary. Everything was fine until you came along. This is completely your fault. She trusted you with her secrets. You were the only one who knew she was in that house alone. She was so drugged up on your pills, she couldn't even fight back when you held her under the water. Everything is back to normal. For a long time, I thought it was possible that I had made it all up about Mary, that I imagined her. You like it? Mm-hmm. It's real pretty. It's just like I hoped it would be. Go now.
always be my sister. Larry, what's it like on the other side? It's such a feeling. A wonderful feeling. I wish I could go with you. I'll wait for you. On the other side. Mary was real, all right. I believe in anything. I believe in her. <laughs> 